Nothing beats fresh florals for the center of your Thanksgiving table. For some inspiration and some how-to, we pulled in our favorite florist, Bryn Larson. So it's fall, and that seems like a natural playground for you. Oh, fall is my favorite time for flowers. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. I love the texture, the color. It's my favorite. What are yeah. we looking for in a good Thanksgiving centerpiece, though, Bryn? So Thanksgiving, you're probably going to have a really long table. You're going to have a lot of people. You have a lot of space to fill, and you probably don't want to spend a million dollars as much as we all wish we could, yes, right? Yes, But we're probably working on a budget. So I wanted to think about ways to make our table warm, pretty, and take up quite a bit of space. You also have worked in some brights here in a very fall-inspired way. Tell us what I you've have. done. So I went... Um, out in the mountains uh, like a week ago and was like blown away by the yellow and the like the bronze those colors are not usually like my color palette that I really gravitate towards but loved it this year and then I don't know well I just got this wild hair to do like a soft pink with the table because it's just different and it goes so pretty with the yellow now if you told me like you know, face to face, yeah. verbally, I'm going to do pink and yellow for Thanksgiving. I would say no, no, and no. What about this, though, works because it does. It's very fall inspired. It's very texturized. And I think that's what works. Some of the fall elements, like these Brasilia berries, have kind of that pink tone to them. The hydrangea, which looks so beautiful in fall, has a little hint of pink. So I think it's using some of the fall elements that already have those tones and then bringing it in with a little extra pink. Are those florals readily available, the hydrangea and the brighter pinks? Yeah, they are. Like through the fall, the hydrangea looks amazing in the fall. Okay, so what would we need if we wanted to pull this off at home? Okay, so um, first we're gonna talk about container. Yep. This is, um, I love this white urn. I think it's so pretty. And first we're gonna start by giving it a base. Okay. So it has this floral foam in here. You soak it first and then cut it to fit your shape. Uh -huh. You don't wanna push too hard because then it will water will come out. Oh. You want it to hold as much water See, as possible. that would have been my inclination is to mush <laughs> and like, gush and right. pack it in there, but no. So put it in gently. Make sure it's sturdy and steady, but you don't want to smash too much because then it loses some of the water. Okay. So I always start, I think of it as like getting dressed. Let's start with the biggest pieces <laughs> yeah, right? and then accessorize. Okay. So we're going to start with this. Here come the jeans. Exactly. <laughs> so this hydrangea, um, we're going to put on one side of the arrangement. So when you're cutting flowers, you always want to cut on an angle. Uh-huh. That way it can get the most water into the stem. And we're going to put this kind of at an angle up here in the front. You know what I'm realizing? You might want to cover your ears. This is going to maybe be like a swear word statement to you as a florist. I'll take but it. But like the fake hydrangea is pretty darn good. No, silks have really come a long ways. As I like look a at really that, long ways. As I look at that real stem mm -hmm. of hydrangea, I'm realizing what I have in my house, which is faux, is actually pretty close. It's like they really have come a long way. Now what is this? This is a mushroom cap, and it's so weird, but I loved the color of this. I'm obsessed with it Isn't all it around. So cool? the, the shape. The shape, the shape, yes. it's so different. So we're gonna balance this hydrangea with this on the other side. Now where, would, where in the world would you get a mushroom You stem? can get them at craft stores. Um, you can always call us. We can help you find these supplies if you're looking and you're having a hard time. Um, anywhere that has like silk or dried flowers will probably have them. You could probably check Hobby Lobby and see if they have something like that. No pun intended, this is the golden ticket. It like, really that is. is. It I makes what it. makes the whole thing. Absolutely. Okay, another thing that's really big right now is dried foliage. Okay. So I've dried this um, foliage and I love the colors, the golden, the soft tones. So we're gonna kind of balance this out and fill out a little bit. Now, I know how foliage dries. Is there a way to <laughs> artfully dry foliage? Um, you can hang it upside down. Okay. That helps. Because you still Take want it to keep, out of water. You want it to keep a shape yeah, still. Yeah, keep the shape out of water. You don't wanna smash it or anything. You wanna let it be like wide and full. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna balance this hydrangea with some foliage on this other side. So either side, like teeter-totter, mm -hmm. it's worked out. Just gonna kind of keep adding, filling it out a little bit. This is where Bryn's brain goes to work, <laughs> and we all just stand back and like, yeah, marvel. Like, You're like okay, yeah, sure, I'll do okay. that. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, I also really love this purple agonis. This is one of my favorite greeneries. Okay, it's um, not green. It's not green. <laughs> my purple, my favorite purple greenery. <laughs> okay. And same thing, we're just gonna kind of balance. So just think of balance. You don't want it to look heavy to one side or the other. As you're doing something asymmetrical, just make sure that it's not gonna look like it's gonna tip over. Okay, while you're so it doesn't have to it. be perfect. Exactly, and it's kind of better if it's not when we're doing kind of this wild look. Have you heard the formula for outdoor pots, thriller, spiller, filler? Ooh, tell me, I like that. Well, it, it, when we're doing like our outdoor pots in the uh -huh. spring and summer, they say have like a thriller, something that spills over, and then something that Ooh, fills it out. Does I that like apply that. to home arranging too? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay, these little berries are like my favorite. Those are cute. Fuzzy. Fuzzy, have some 
that really brings in like the fall texture. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add some of these on this other side to make this kind of as full as this hydrangea. Okay. And you want different heights. We don't want everything to be like the same height in the arrangement, right? So same bloom, same plant, but different, different heights. Okay, uh -huh. okay. It gives your eye something to kind of look at and wander over while it kind looking of, at the arrangement. Yeah, it falls over there. Yeah. Then we'll add a shorter one down here in the front. Mm-hmm. Like this. So you put in all the big guys, now you're kind of filling in the filling space. In. Absolutely. Okay, this bittersweet is another fall favorite. That is amazing. So these are so fun because you can kind of cut into it and use it. And it kind of just has a mind of its own. I was gonna say, back up. That you really is like taking over the table. Can't control it. It's nice though because it would allow you in a tablescape setting to pull in like a candlestick or a little vase, you know, because it's Absolutely. so wampus in its shape. And it can take up space. So you can, I mean, if you want it to let it go really long, you can let it go really long and take up a good chunk of your table, like a couple feet of your table. Okay. So I'm just gonna add some to the side again to just balance it out. See, I wouldn't think to let that branch just poke out like that, like a <laughs> random. Just get wild and crazy. Yeah, hair fly away, but there it goes. That's okay. grin for you, I love it. So we're just gonna, if we're still talking about getting dressed, we're just gonna accessorize with <laughs> yeah, these let's, let's little things, right? let's go with things, that, I like right? that metaphor. Okay, and then we're gonna finish off with these ranunculus. These are oh. like, oh. this is another reason I had to do the pink, because these are so beautiful right now. Yes. So same thing, cutting it on an angle. Um, one tip I, that people always wonder like how high to cut a flower for the vase. Mm -hmm. You can always cut more, you can't add more. So when I'm thinking about what I'm gonna cut, I kind of hold it to the arrangement of where I want it to go. Okay. And then you can look and see where it falls under the vase uh -huh. and cut so that it's kind of the height that you are looking for. Is there a trick to stabilizing a flower like this? It's kind of dainty and willowy and blows around. These are kind of dainty and willowy, but it kind of adds to it, it kind of just does its thing, okay? But the floral foam is what's holding these in place. Okay. So as you um, are working with it, you know these softer stems. If you're putting it into the foam, you're going to want to hold right here as uh -huh. you're putting it down into the foam so it doesn't break. So protect so it. So kind it's... of slowly move it down into the foam. And how do you know? I would. I would. I'm just calling it right now. I would overwhelm with the pink, right? I'd be so excited and giddy <laughs> about that happy color that it would take over. So how do you balance the subtles, the greeneries, with the more bold kind of show-stopping? Absolutely. Flowers? So always in design, odd numbers are a really good way to like kind of stick within the lines. Okay. So adding three little pops, I think, is a really safe way to not overwhelm, or like five. I just would stick with odd numbers and okay. just kind of look at the balance of it all. We're gonna to continue to fill in, but it's already taking shape. You can see it, it's so nice to get inside our brain, isn't it, and see how it happens. We can never do it quite like you do, but hopefully we can be the best form of cheap imitation <laughs> of your work when we do it at home. Speaking of your work, when is it too late to get orders in for, say, parties or dinners? So we will be working until Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Okay. But Monday or Tuesday is probably best. Yeah, yeah. order in, right? Yep, and I'm absolutely. sure December, a really busy time for December you. December is crazy, but we love helping people fill their tables with flowers. What's your website? So. It's bloomsandco.com. I love this. I awesome. love this whole thing. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for we having me. We appreciate it.